This is Stephen Wachowski from Christian Music Network, and here we're with Rick Kewell. So how are you doing, Rick? I'm doing good, Stephen. Good to see you today. Yes, definitely. Definitely, and definitely. It's certainly been a long time. Yes, since our last interview. That's right. <laughs> yes, wow. yes. Yeah, wow. Yes, yeah. So tell me about your, yourself. Well, I'm just enjoying life. I am... Uh, one of the pastors at our church in Franklin, Tennessee. Wonderful. And and I'm still making still making records and writing songs and you know wrote a book a couple of years ago and just getting ready to finish a devotional, a 31 day devotional. So just keeping busy with things like that, you know. Sure. Yeah. 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 Definitely. 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 So how did you get into music? Well, you know, my father was a guitar player, and uh, we grew up in Syracuse, New York, and he was very inspirational to me, just watching him play and, you know, growing up with a musician was, uh, it kind of rubbed off on me, you know, so I started playing at a young age, played piano and trumpet and clarinet and, uh, you know, then guitar and then eventually bass. Accordion was my first instrument. I went through a bunch of them and uh, I got to bass guitar and it was like, no, that's the one. That's the cool. one I want to stay with right there. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so, uh, yeah. So, so you were in the band Outlaws. So tell me about that. Great band. I joined that band in 1980. Okay. Uh, the, the Outlaws. Uh, um, it was a Florida band, Southern rock band. And I'm, you know, a New Yorker. Like, you're still, are you still in Pennsylvania? Yes, 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 I am. Yep. So that's where we first met up there. But uh, yeah, so the Outlaws, great band. I did a couple of records with them. And then there was a greatest hits record that came out and, you know, just um, enjoyed it. It was, um, it was something really interesting and different. A bunch of great guys, wonderful players. Uh, you know, we had a <laughs> gold record in two countries and, you know, toured all over the place and with a lot of the Southern rock guys. Matter of fact, <clears throat> we played a gig at the uh, old JFK Stadium uh, wow. in Philadelphia. And that was before they tore it down. Right. And we did a, did a gig there called the Roundup. And it was 90,000 people and just amazing. A bunch of other bands were with us. There was about five bands all in that Southern rock vibe. And um, yeah, so the Outlaws was a joy. Our fir My first record with them was a record called Ghost Riders in the Sky. Okay. Or just Ghost Riders. And that, that did really well. And that's the one where we got our couple of gold records from. Cool, 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 cool. And then... Uh... And you got into Christian music. So tell me yes. about that. Right in the middle of my time with the Outlaws, I wound up um, uh, getting a record deal, a Christian record deal. And at the same time I was playing with the Outlaws, I released my first record in 1982. Recorded it in 81, released it in 82. And um, another year... The middle of 83 is when I left the band to do, I left the Outlaws to do Christian music full time. I really felt, Stephen, if if I had uh, 90 minutes with an audience, I wanted to use it to tell them about Jesus. And um, I did that for d many decades and still make music like that. Even, even with my band Blues Council, we've got five records out and... Um, just did a the last the latest record we did was uh it was um called best of the decade cool. and that was uh yeah something that really encapsulated 2009 until 2019 okay and it was the the best of the five records 20 tracks and that was a lot of fun cool cool so tell me about that band yeah the it was myself and uh, Tony Mora, Anthony Mora on drums, Tony Hooper on guitar, Tom Lane on guitar, Will McFarlane on guitar, and Emma Dean Rivera uh, on percussion. 
Uh, it's uh, it was blues rock and a touch of Latin, and it was just a lot of fun. Cool. Still, the band's still together. We're playing at Kingdom Bound this year. Oh wow! Uh, uh, on the, probably right around the twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh of July. Okay. So we'll be up there with uh, with Blues Council, and um, oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention, I. I got a I got a message from Girder Records. I don't know right, if yes, you know. yes, yes, yeah. So and they want the, that. Yeah, well, yeah. I got a call from them several months ago saying that they wanted me to be the first to know that they licensed my first four records from um, uh, Sparrow, from really from Capital now, and uh, they put those four records out. And man, I just, they're great guys. So happy that they did that and repackaged them and remastered them. And, and, you know, so there's hopes that I wanted to do a compilation for 40 years of Christian music and they may wind up doing it for me. And that'll, that'll uh, cover 40 years of, uh, of Christian music. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I have a link on, uh, on below about that. So. So, 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 so people can get CDs, you know, from, from your first four, four albums. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, I just, I think if you just um, Google Girder, G-I-R-D-E-R, Girder Music or Girder Records, you'll easily get transported to their website and be able to purchase those either in a bundle or, um, you know, one at a time. Right, right, right. Well, I have a link right there. Yeah. So, Yes, yes, awesome, awesome. Speaking about links, uh, you had some videos. Uh, 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 tell me about Don't Say S Suicide. Yeah, that was, you know, Diana and I and uh, our dear friend Bob Halligan Jr., the three of us, Diana started to write that song because we were concerned that we had teenage daughters. And there was an article that came out, I think it was in uh, Time Magazine about teen suicide, that it was getting to be a a concern and Diana just um, started writing the lyrics to that brought it to me and Bob Halligan Jr. and we finished it and uh, it was just we got all kinds of great response on it because there were so many people and there still are today that just they get depressed they get anxious and unfortunately some of them they consider suicide so that song I think really uh, because of God in the music, in the lyric, you know, that song really helped, helped a lot of folks. Yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. And, and, and then you have, I can, and, and I will. So tell me about that. Yeah, I can, I will. That was a, that was rock song of the year. I want to say it was 1989. That's when the record came out. Um, and it stayed number one for six weeks on rock radio. And it was the song of the year as well. So that song is all about knowing who you are in Christ and knowing, as Philippians 4.13 says, that you, we, I, you and me, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And having that knowledge um, can propel us forward because it just really builds our, builds our confidence. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, and then and then and then you also have uh, from the Blues Council Red Motorcycle. So tell yeah. Me well, um, you know, I used to ride motorcycles as a younger guy before we started having children, and forty years passed, and I finally went out and got myself another motorcycle. It was a red Ducati. So it was a nice Italian bike, and I just loved it, still have it today. And we did a video on that, Red Motorcycle by Blues Council. And it, what I did is I reached out to a lot of the people that were on the, in the, Duca, on the Ducati um, Facebook, you know, and uh, they just uh, sent me all kinds of video. Um, around the world, people all over the place, and it's filled with motorcycles and some great video clips, you know, driving through Europe, riding through Europe and stuff like that. So yeah, Red Motorcycle, and that was a, 
that was a that was a lot of fun that record and let me see something if i got it right here okay. yeah that was a that was a song that um was so much fun to to write because it was just um it's a joy to ride a motorcycle you know it was incredible yeah it's on that's on this record uh, Blues Council Muscle Shoals Sessions. Oh, oh, Red Motorcycle. Yeah. Awesome. 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 And these are some, I might as well just hold these up. These are some of the Blues Council things. Sure. Um, that was our first one, Let the Healing okay. Begin. Oh. And then we did also, we did, of course, the Muscle Shoals Sessions record. Okay. And we did Slow Demolition. Oh. And we did um, we did a record. I don't have it in front of me. With uh, it was a live record, live at the ramp with Phil Keggy, cool. which was awesome. And then we did um, Love Infusion. Okay. And after that, as I had mentioned earlier, the compilation that is Blues Council Best of the Decade. There's a awesome. twenty tracks. 20 tracks on this one that just really encapsulate uh, those 10 years, those first 10 years with Blues Council. Awesome. Awesome. So where can we find your m music? Yeah, you could. Well, you can check Girder Records, okay. G-I-R-D-E-R. -E and also, if you went to my website, Rick at RickKua.com, um, you could just, uh, it would be www.rickkua.com. The first thing I mentioned, of course, was my email, but you oh. could be, you could email me or go right to the website and um, find it on, on our store. But again, I would go to Girder just because I think they've got a bunch of this stuff. So you can, you can just go check with them first. Okay. Awesome. 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 So we can contact you with by your email. Yeah, you could, anybody can email me, whoever okay. wants, R-I-C-K at okay. rickkua.com. All right. Okay, cool. Excellent. Awesome. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, um, yeah. so uh, 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 tell me about your concerts. What are the, they like? You know, um, we did a bunch of different things with Blues Council, and I haven't been out playing live much since COVID hit. Once right. COVID hit, it shut down a lot of the, the places we would normally play. And uh, I've been spending most of my time just writing new material and, again, working on this uh, devotional. Um, and uh, let me see if I've got a... This is like show and tell today. You know, this is, cool. this, this is the book I recently released. Awesome. It's called, uh, what are you known for building your legacy one brick at a time? So oh. as I said earlier, I'm working on a companion uh, devotional to that book, 31 day devotional. So that was a, that was a lot of fun, you know, whether it's music, Stephen, or uh, the written word, or, you know, it's whatever inspires me. I just want to make sure I'm honoring the Lord by making sure I document it and, you know, finish some stuff to, to, to leave behind even, you know, Lord willing, I'm here for many more years, but you know, um, our records, me and all my buddies in the contemporary Christian world, um, music world, you know, these records will outlive us and these yeah. books will outlive us. And we just feel the necessity to, you know, capture this time in history uh, and be able to have it live on even beyond us, forward from us. Sure, sure, sure. So uh, uh, do you have any advice for other musicians? Yeah, I mean, I would just say, you know, people need your music. Whether you have a record deal or not, uh, people need to hear what God has given you. So one way or the other, um, you know, make recordings, whether you, you know, use GarageBand uh, on your uh, on your computer or 
you go in a studio and, you know, try and get a good deal. And just even if it's guitar vocal or keyboard vocal, document your music, record your music so other people can, you know, enjoy it even beyond the live performance. I think it's so important. The enemy would want to tell us, oh, nobody's interested. You're not a, you're not a big touring artist and you're not on a big record label. Don't listen to that nonsense. You know, the word says, take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. If something doesn't line up to God's word, that's a lie from the devil and you need to not listen. So musicians, creative people, songwriters, book writers. If you don't have a book, write a book. Mm -hmm. Write a book. Think about your life. Start jotting down your experiences and maybe even uh, this, those stories, but how the word of God lines up to those stories, you know? And um, yeah, just do it. What are we going to do? Lay around watching TV for the rest of our life? No, God's got stuff for us to do. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and they can even share their music on the Christian Music Network, Facebook, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, yeah. I have a group that, that people can, can submit their videos. Yes. Yeah. Pretty awesome, you know. You know so I, love I, it. I encourage anybody to, uh, to do that, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and it's really helped a lot of people, you know. You know, because, oh, oh I, I've been thinking about the song and things like that. Just share it, you know, you that's know, right. you know, just, just share it to the world. You know, that, that's the reason why we're here. So. Yeah, I love it. I love what you do. And I thank you for having me on. Yeah, 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 certainly. Sir. Yeah, I'd like to thank you for having you on. Yeah, yeah, it was my, my pleasure. Uh, oh. Any last words? Just. Um... Again, thank you. You and I, Stephen, met probably, I don't know, 35, 40 years ago, right. a long time ago. We yes, met because yes. of uh, you were friends with Rob Frazier. Yes, yes. And his family. And I've never forgotten you. And uh, I appreciate you doing what you're doing. It's valuable. And you're doing it for the Lord and for so many. It's, I mean, last words from me is, you know, some of the some of the simplest things in the gospel are the ones that I latch on to most. Uh, the two greatest commandments: love God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength. And the second uh, greatest commandment is like the first. That's what the word says: love your neighbor as yourself. Do that, and also let's be fruit growers. You know, uh, fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Let's be known for that. And that's the fruit that we grow as believers. Let's love one another, love God, and represent the fruit of the spirit. Amen. Thank you, Brad. Amen. Thank you for You're your welcome. time. It was pretty awesome. Oh, uh, thank you, my friend. Great to... Great to be with you. Yes, yes. God bless you. Bless you too. Yep, yep. Good night. Good night.